baby kicking you and driving you nuts. He likes to go down when I get her. See? That means she likes me. guys I'm just letting our cows out into the big pasture for the evening I locked them in here in the smaller pen because it was raining like crazy and I hadn't milked Penelope yet and I didn't want to have to go to the other end of the field to bring her in there's Miss Phoebe we got a lot of rain today it is mucky out here. Here comes our girl. Hey Penelope. Moonshine. Oh, geez, there she is. Hey, girl. It's all right. Can you go see your mama? Come on. Go see your mama. You look like you got a milk mustache. Moonshine is just over a month old now. She's growing like a weed and we're really impressed with her. She's a great little calf. We've actually had a really wet spring here this year. In early May, it was looking like we were gonna maybe have another drought. We've had a drought here for two years now, but it's definitely turned a corner and it is certainly not a drought any longer. We've been getting a ton of rain for like the last three weeks. We only get like a day or two of sunny weather before it rains again. And this last time today, we've really got a downpour. So yeah, we've got enough rain now and we really could actually use some sun. The garden, everything pretty much has germinated, but it really needs some sun to get going. It's looking like a better garden year and Last year we had a really rough time with a huge grasshopper infestation. It was the worst grasshopper infestation I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy. They were everywhere and everywhere you'd walk there were just thousands of them. We don't have that problem this year, thankfully. I am a little bit worried that eventually we're going to get some hail or something. So I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, we've had a lot of things going on on the farm, as usual. We always have a million projects on the go. Feels like we cross something off the to-do list and add five more things. Seems to be the way it goes. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on Hazel because she had her foal. Here's a picture of Hazel's udder just before she foaled. While I introduce you to our new foal, I wanted to give you guys a backstory on who is Hazel and what's the history on her. So here's some baby pictures of Hazel. And here is the day that Hazel came home to me for the first time as a weanling. And obviously, here's Hazel and her foal. So backstory on Hazel. She's a 2017 American Halflinger mare. She's registered through the American Halflinger Registry. And she came to me shortly after my late gelding Geronimo passed away. He was an amazing horse that I showed for years in 4-H and horse shows. We did all sorts of different things together. And so when he passed away, she was the first horse that I brought home after that. 
So she's always held a really special place in my heart. And she's always been such a nice mare. She's got great temperament, great conformation, really nice, thick, durable legs, great hooves. She has basically no issues with being lame. She's just a really solid, strong, sturdy horse. And she's always had a great personality. She loves people. She's very affectionate. She has been super easy to train. I broke her to ride a couple of years ago, and she's also broke to drive, single or double. And she just takes everything in stride. She's a really tolerant horse, and we love her for that. Uh, my daughter rides her. Usually, if she's going to ride a horse, this is the one that she rides. Hazel is just an awesome, awesome horse. I got her... I wanted to get a mare because I did have intentions of way in the future breeding horses when I got her. We didn't even have any land at that time. So this was a huge kind of pipe dream and a big future plan to breed horses. But now Hazel is five years old and that plan and that dream has finally come to fruition and we got this amazing, gorgeous little filly out of her. So another dream of mine has been I've always wanted to have a gypsy vanner horse. I just find them such beautiful horses and I just love their conformation. They're really nice, thick, rugged, um, strong type horses and they usually come in some pretty cool colors and markings. So we decided that we would breed her to a gypsy vanner because there was a somewhat local stud to us of good bloodlines, which I thought was quite special because they're not super common where I live and usually breedings to a stud are quite expensive and buying a young gypsy vanner horse even unstarted not halter broke really hasn't been trained at all mm. is still very expensive mm. so for me to go out and buy one wasn't really in my price range so I decided to breed Hazel to this gypsy vanner stud his name is King Tegan he is a black and white Tobiano stallion. He has a great personality, great temperament, so I thought that he would pair well with Hazel. She's color tested and genetic tested, as is the stallion, so we had a pretty good idea of what the baby was going to come out as color-wise. We really only had two options. She was either going to be a bay Tobiano or a chestnut Tobiano, and we knew she was going to 100% for sure be Tobiano, because the stallion is homozygous for the Tobiano gene, which if you don't know what that means, it just means that he has two copies of the gene for Tobiano, so he was going to throw one, and it was going to be a Tobiano, regardless of the fact that I bred him to a solid colored mare. And because of her color testing results, we were only going to get Bay Tobiano or Chestnut Tobiano, and we got a Bay Tobiano, and she is beautiful. She came out a lot larger than I thought she would. Hazel is 15.1 hands high, and I believe the stallion is also the same height. So she came out really large. She looks like she's a month old already. This is the day she was born in these videos here. And yeah, she's just a really leggy, tall, thick-boned girl, and she looks great, but definitely bigger than I was expecting. So we'll see how big she actually gets. I was very worried that we were going to have something go wrong during foaling, but thankfully, knock on wood, nothing has went wrong. Everything has went completely textbook and very smoothly, so I am extremely thankful for that, and everyone's doing great. She was born mm, almost two weeks ago now, so she's just about two weeks old, but she's doing really great. Um, so she, obviously Hazel had a filly. Ah, cat just climbed up my leg. You psychopath. What are you doing? Ah, God, cat.
It's okay, it's just a cat. Yes, it's just a cat. It's okay, it's just a kitty. We still haven't come up with a name for her yet. Because she's technically a cross, a halflinger, cross with a gypsy vanner, we don't have to follow the halflinger naming rules. So how it works with a registered halflinger, purebred, is that if you had a filly that was a halflinger, you would have to name it with the same first letter as the mare. And if it was a colt, then you would use the first letter of the stallion. So if Hazel had had a filly, then it would have had to have an H name if it was a purebred halflinger. But because it's not, we don't have to really follow those rules. And we can kind of choose whatever we want. But I'm really at a loss for what we're going to name this little girl. I'm pretty picky about names, to be honest with you. I really like original names. I don't like commonplace names. Um, and I really like the old style, kind of old lady names too. But... I want to give her something special and unique for sure. I don't want her to have a, a commonplace name because she's a very unique, special little girl. Are you coming to see the kitty? Yeah, I know. It's a scary kitty. It's okay. What a brat. <laughs> Mama's gonna take her out to the big pasture. She's uh, pretty protective of her baby. Not that she's being mean or anything. She's just kind of tries to keep her away from you. She's a little bit better with me and she's okay with my daughter, but she's really nervous of my husband, which is odd because he's fed her all year long and he's never hurt her, but he's also never really worked with her. So she doesn't have like that bond and that trust with him, but it's okay. Hormones are an interesting thing and I understand. Hey, thanks again for watching another Burnt River Ranch video. Thanks for tuning into our channel and keeping up to date on what we've been doing. If you don't already subscribe to our channel, I would really appreciate if you could do that. If you like this video, if you like baby horses, then you better give a thumbs up to this video. And if you do have a name suggestion for this little filly here, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So drop a comment below for your unique name suggestions. We'll catch you guys on the next video.